Hey amigos, Carlos Costa for Beard Brand. I'm here with Jack Maloco. Maloco, but close enough. All right, loco. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're here for another episode of the Beards of Beard Brand. Jack, I've got five questions for you. All right, let's do it, man. Right, first one, yeah. what's your favorite thing about your beard? Uh, my favorite thing about my beard would definitely have to be how fast it's been growing. I honestly had never grown it this long before, and I had no idea that it was going to kick in super fast. Uh, I'm only 23 years old, and people think that I look like I'm 30. <laughs> <laughs> On that, so before this, have you grown a beard? Yeah. Before? I, uh, I started growing a beard back when I was, I mean, I could grow facial hair from the age 13 on. I was growing a mustache what? back then, yeah. Uh, but I wasn't growing like an actual beard beard until right. about I was 16, and that's when I actually found Beard Brand. I started watching videos and then started growing it out and feeling a little bit more confident. But I hadn't grown like a full big beard until about, I'd say two years ago. Right, okay. Wow, that's a pretty early age yeah. to have some facial hair. I had friends the same, which is crazy, but yeah. yeah. Some people out there has got like some hairy some jeans. Stupid hairy jeans, yeah. All right, question number two. What don't you like about your beard? Uh, I would say kind of how curly and coarse it is. It, if I don't put beard oil in here, it gets so rough some days, uh, especially when I'm sick and I don't put anything in. It feels really brutal on my face. Well, you live in Texas. Yeah, humidity. it's really hot. Yeah, hot humidity. So that makes it really tough sometimes. Right. So if it was softer and maybe a little bit less curly, that'd be good. But so far, I, you know, I'm enjoying it, man. That looks good, man. Thanks. Right. What challenges have you had or have uh, experienced with your beard? Uh, one of the biggest things was the fact that it grows out rather than down. So, you know, every day I'm taking that blow dryer and round brush or blow dryer and comb technique and just making sure that it's growing down instead of right. out. Because if I leave it alone, man, it would just go that way. Right. Mm -hmm. So how many months do you want now? Oh, man, I think this is month eight. Right. Uh, this is the 37th week. I, I think once your beard gets to About this there. length yeah. and then you cut back, it will just be straighter. It'll naturally lay there. Straighter, yeah. Okay. Especially if you keep doing it, like mm -hmm. straighten it. Yeah, I can definitely feel it's sitting a lot better these days yeah. than it used to. Yeah. Right. What do you wish would be different with your beard? Oh man, I'll tell you, I wish my, uh, I wish my mustache was a bit bigger, honestly. I wish it would grow in. Uh, a lot of people think that I've been trimming it right. all the time, but- this I is can awesome. see you haven't, yeah. This is exactly what it looks like, 37 weeks in, of no trimming, just exactly how it's been. Yeah. Um, and I wish that it would kind of catch up with the rest of my beard, because the beard's getting down really far, but the mustache man just did not get the memo. Yeah, I can see it's a bit fairer around the ear. Yeah, but it's, it's, you say you're only 23? Only 23, yeah. Uh, that stuff, it's gonna catch it'll, up. Yeah, it's gonna catch up. My, my mustache is weaker than the rest of my beard mm. uh, and definitely has catched up. Yeah, but it's nice and big now, yeah. Yeah, but it will catch up, I think. You got the, the hairy jeans, so. I hope so. so. Uh, Jack, so this brings us to the end of the questions. Give me your top three tips. Sure, my top three tips would be one, you gotta be patient. That is the biggest thing. I never realized when I was younger, I was, I would get to about a month and go, oh man, it didn't come in, shave it off, it's done. Or um, I just would never let it grow. So patience is absolutely key. Second one would be if you do have a rough beard or even if you've got a softer beard, absolutely get something in there. If, even if it's only oil, if it's the only thing you use, get something in there because it'll help. And then the last one is make sure that you're taking care of it. You know, that means brushing it or combing it whenever you get the chance, you know, at least once a day. Awesome, man. Yeah, Thank man. you very much, man. It's been yeah. a pleasure. Absolutely, Thank thanks you. for having me. And again, guys, this brings us to the end of another episode. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and stay cool. Beard Brand is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.